I miss you already. What the F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G-damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. P please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that boy? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? <laughs> I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh yeah, some serious corporate gang banging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my uh, my penis. I want you to leave. Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? And look, Deborah, I love you, and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd! I told you, I've got a career! I don't need this, this, this crap! Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now, you and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Trevor? <laughs> oh. mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Interesting lady. Yeah. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have the time of our lives. I know just the place. I could run in and get Floyd and Deborah. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mm, no, I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, maybe you got all over yourself. You're all red. You got, you got syrup? Yeah, syrup. Accidents. We've all been there. We sure have, but they don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit and you met a dealer and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw them, it was with you, driving out to the quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now, Cousin Deborah don't want to get messy. The pattern is, you can't rely on anyone. Anyone except me. So, this is where Floyd is gonna meet us, a strip club? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That guy like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Right here. Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time <laughs> for a long time. Hey, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. 
Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taken over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. any color I want. I know that's right. What would really turn me on is you wearing clown face. Hey, before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? Had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. I, uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Exit routes, general vibe. All right. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey, man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave, 
Ah, oh, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Look, dawg. Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Uh, well... Uh, uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clockwork. You mentioned a uh, job before. Something I could help you with? I ain't even talk. Thirteen thirty. We're an hour down. Two to go. You're the one who keeps talking about the schedule, Lest. Come on. Observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. The, the security's internal. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if you want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, Six in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building.
Okay, so how you feeling about that? Feeling pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. Yeah, will he? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well, I ain't pissed off hillbillies, bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? So there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA and your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda, and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'ma ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later. Hey, when he's got something... Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? Nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know. Yeah. Sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you... You're a killer. You know? You are a man of action! You do not sit on couches. You take scores. You're back, man. We are back. All right? All we got to go do is bust out Brad, and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And, uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're gonna do this last big job, and then we're gonna dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me! All right, this is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family! Yeah, well, I got nothing! No one gives a fuck about me! I do. Oh, fuck you! I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! I mean, let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Oh, fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! That's my car, you prick! Come on, where you going? You know where I'm going! Fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple of beers back in my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you! Fuck your pizza! Fuck everything it stands for! This is insanity! Oh no! No, it's clear! There are lies! Hey, I'll lay it all out for you, everything. 
Just stop the car. Turn around. I'm empty. Just a bag of sand. Something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Oh, eyes! How do you do it, man? The game is up. I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, buddy, all right? Save your fucking breath. Trevor, come on. Fuck you, Michael. Soon enough, I will. Shit! Shit. Shit, how? I don't know how. He used his head. But does he know? Does he know at all? Hey, he's on his way up to Ludendorff to confirm his... Nanyang Listen, Amanda, we're going to move to Los Santos, start over. I made a deal. The slate will be totally wiped clean. Hey, everybody pays attention, no one gets hurt. Trust me, darling, look at me. Amanda, it was the only thing I could do. Either everyone dies or one guy gets out. I'm that guy. Slow and steady, team. slow and steady. His name is Dave Norton, nice guy, realist. He gets the glory, I get out. It's not even a decision. Amanda, I don't have a choice. Do you want to die here where it's always snowing? Or do you want to go and live where it's always sunny? All right, you want to live? Tell me you want to live. Work this out. Work this out. Some depot out of town, you don't need to know. Trust me, nothing is going to go wrong. Nothing. Yeah, I hear you. We gotta follow the plan. Everything will work out. I did the deal, Amanda. It's over. Baby, we get out. Be happy. Be normal. It ain't supposed to go down like this. We did it. Baby, we are home free. It's over. This is fucked, man. The thing is blown. Just this one job, and everything is done. Everything is done. Everything is done. Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. A guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark? It comes out in the light. I'll give it a rest, Trevor. There's nothing there. 
This is it. Moment of truth. I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, and how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did. That's, that's it. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep 10 years later. Mikey, I mourned you, and I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger. You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck! Fuck! Ah! Fuck! Ah! Joe Phillips! Mr. Cho has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how's it been? How's it been? Get the boyfriend! Boyfriend? You motherfucker. Where are you? Chiss him off! Come on! Oh. Oh. So this is the guy who is dead. He Who are your pals, Trevor? Get out of the bed! Ah, you want a boyfriend, huh? You don't want And another man! <laughs> okay. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao? Yeah, 
The ex-nut. Back down to a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes. Thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. So I had to cut out. Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County. But your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Ah, oh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? Michael DeSanta. You live in your trailer together with the maid. And then you were alone in that big house. Well, you're clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up for his safety? <laughs> My lover! Yeah, right! That's a tough break. I never want to double-cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die. Tell him I love him dearly. 